we look at the man, Alain Prost, who has won three of five races this season. He has the pole as the warm-up lap continues. And we'll be back with the start of the race after this short break. And conditions for the Monaco Grand Prix as we turn over the proceedings to James Hunt and his affable partner, Murray Walker of the BBC. 13 rows, 25 cars. Luca Bata did not qualify for 26th entrance. They always dropped one. 78 laps. Let us keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best at Santa Vot. It looks as though they're going to get them away pretty quickly. There are the lights. The red will go. Then in between four and seven seconds, the green. The Monaco Grand Prix will be go for 78 laps. Bot Hill lead, uh, Prost leads behind him is Schumacher, and are they all round? Senna is in third position as they go round the Hotel de Paris and into Casino Square, and heaven be praised, we have got a clean start. Schumacher, Senna, Hill, Zorna Lisi is in fifth position, Berger is in sixth place, Riccardo Patrese is in seventh place in the Benetton, and at that spot, Blundell in the Vigier got away loud. Yes, the poor start by Senna was significant there. He was slow away. A bit of a traffic jam as they go around the Lowe's hairpin now into the tunnel with the leaders. And Senna will be looking for a way past Schumacher early on, although he's not close enough to challenge at the moment. Uh, trying for the opportunities before everybody settles down and gets into their rhythm and we get into the no overtaking situation. Damon Hill in fourth place. Lazy, Berger. Patrese, Vendlinger, Leto, up, that's Comas, Derek Warwick, Blunt, Brunvall, and the rest of them streaming through as the leaders approach the Raskas at the end of the first of 78 laps. Alain Prost trying to build up a cushion with Schumacher second, Senna third, there's a gap, Hill is fourth, the two Ferraris, Alesi and Berger, Patrese is still in seventh place. One lap completed, 77 to go, and the danger man for Alain Prost, Ayrton Senna, I remind you, has, they've got sandwiched between them, Prost and Senna, Michael Schumacher, the man who won his first Grand Prix in Belgium last year, and has got the Benetton absolutely beautifully balanced for Monaco. This is the Mirabeau. Prost. Close corner. Schumacher second in the Benetton. So it's Williams, Benetton, McLaren, Williams. Yes, and already Prost and Schumacher seem to be edging away from Senna. And whether that's a tactical move by Senna to try and preserve his rear tyres and not push them too hard early on, or whether he's just beaten for speed, we'll have to see. This race is going to last the thick end of two hours as Damon Hill goes through, followed by Alesi, fifth, Berger, sixth, Patrese, seventh. Vendlinger is in eighth place in the Sauber, which practiced very badly on wet Thursday. They got their act together on Saturday, moved up the grid. This is their first street race, and Alain Prost, Williams and Renault are already looking good. There's Schumacher, the young German. So it's a Renault engine, Ford engine in the Benetton, Ford engine in the McLaren, and Prost comes up the hill with the C on his right, the Hotel de Paris on his left. They're getting spread out, Senna in third position, Damon Hill is holding his place well, he's 2.8 seconds behind Prost at the end of the second lap, as Schumacher drops down to the Mirabeau, hard on the brakes. Now down to the first gear, 30 mile an hour, Lowe's hairpin, into the Portier second gear, and then they boot it from second gear up into sixth, and they come out of the tunnel mouth at just over 160 miles an hour, building up to 175 before going to second for the chicane. Yes, and Senna is definitely not going with the leading pair. Schumacher probably staying in touch with Frost, but Frost even starting, looking as if he's starting to edge away from him. Remember, of course, that Prost always plays himself in gently and then gradually turns it on. And uh, he's opening up a bit of a gap to Schumacher. Senna, meanwhile, is uh, over three and a half seconds behind 
crossed and uh, over two seconds behind Schumacher and dropping back and this is uh, Schumacher at the Rass Pass the right-hander that exits it in second gear at 50 miles an hour now builds up to sixth gear goes past us here at 160 already up to 170 Sanderbot now the gap is 2.2 seconds on lap four between race leader Alain Prost, Schumacher second, then it's Senna, Hill, Alessi, Berger, seventh is Patrese, eighth is Wendlinger, ninth is Leto, his teammate, tenth is Eric Comas, Derek Warwick is eleventh, Martin Brundle is twelfth in the Ligier, Rubens Barrichello, twenty-one today in the Jordan, is thirteenth ahead of Johnny Herbert, fourteenth. So, Alain Prost driving this race the way he really wants to at his own pace but building a lead over Michael Schumacher and through goes Alain Prost to la that it is lapped Andretti already this is amazing Michael Andretti the American Indy driver who's not had the best of luck to put it mildly in Grand Prix racing this year is lapped on lap four by Alain Prost now we're with Schumacher now and that is Andretti's McLaren Ford in front of the Germans Benetton Ford and Benetton will be delighted that they're putting it across McLaren because now Schumacher goes through as he approaches Sandovot to lap Michael Andretti and the American is well down the field to have been lapped this early. In fact, he's 25th. The fastest lap so far, Alain Prost, 1 minute 25.9 on his third lap. Obviously well outside Nigel Mansell's lap record from last year when, you may remember, in one of the most thrilling Grand Prix finishes that was ever seen, Mansell having come in to change a rear wheel because he thought he had a puncture came out behind Ayrton Senna whom he had led for the whole race caught the Brazilian climbed all over the McLaren Honda as it was then in an effort to get past which was unsuccessful and we're with Cross now this is the chicane now up to the swimming pool section this is the tobacco there is the Frenchman so it's left here up to the swimming pool third gear left right 85 miles an hour on this little short stretch right again left up to 120 and there is Michael Andretti well I can't say that the American is covering himself with glory here he's obviously had some sort of a problem in the early stages of the race because he's now running in 25th position when he started ninth on the grid yes and he was uh, right up in midfield around the first lap pretty much with his grid position so uh, we, uh, we didn't see him come in the pits so we have to uh, assume that he's had some problem out on the circuit and dropped right back but uh, He's one lap down, and this is a very long race, and people can keep going from there and still get into the points. Crossed four seconds outside the lap record as Ayrton Senna in the second of the red and white cars comes up to lap his teammate. Ayrton Senna, who is running second in the World Championship, has scored all McLaren's Constructors' Championship points this year except for the two that Andretti got for fifth position in the Spanish Grand Prix and Andretti moves over sees the distinctive outline and colour scheme of his teammate's car moves over hastily and lets Senna through but I suspect Senna lost a bit of time he was 1.5 seconds behind Michael Schumacher on the fifth lap this is the coming up to the end of lap six in this 78 lap race Prost, Schumacher, Senna that you're looking at. Hill is two and a half seconds behind the Brazilian in fourth place. Alessi fifth, Berger sixth, Patrese is in seventh position still, and there is Senna completing his sixth lap. Now five seconds behind Schumacher. Well, apparently the problem for Michael was that he tried to come up the inside of another car. He put his nose at a car squash. He came into the pit for a new one, and that's where he lost all the time. 
Thank you for that, Jonathan. That's the virtue of having Jonathan Palmer down in the pit lane. We didn't see it, you didn't see it, but we know what happened. Michael Andretti into the pit lane for a new nose cone, and I maligned the American, and I apologise for it in suggesting that he might have dropped back simply because he wasn't going quick enough. And now on lap seven, Alain Prost is a comfortable 2.8 seconds ahead of Michael Schumacher, lapping faster and faster as he tunes himself into the circuit. And Mark Blundell is out of the Monaco Grand Prix on lap seven. I don't suppose he'll be too sorry in a way because... He banged his back very badly coming out of the tunnel yesterday when he hit a colossal bump in the leisure at about 160 miles an hour. And, uh